Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson with Collision Advice. I'm here with my great friend Danny with the DEG, and we're working with SERS to bring you a series of quick tips that will help you to boost your business. So, you know, we're going to talk a little bit now about virtual reinspections. You know, first of all, I'm not here to debate the merits of that, and I don't think Danny is either, right? Um, at the end of the day, everybody has to make a business decision as to whether they participate in those virtual reinspections or not. But, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about the technology advances in our industry. First of all, I think it's really important that we have to have strong Wi-Fi within our facilities, regardless of insurance for virtual reinspections or not. Because first of all, you know, you got more and more OEMs requiring that we use electronic quality control apps, right? So we've got to have strong Wi-Fi. Secondly is we know how critical it is for both estimators as well as technicians to be researching home repair procedures. So does your Wi-Fi support, you know, five or six people online at the same time trying to research something online? I think the other thing we have to think about, ladies and gentlemen, is the quality of the lighting in our facilities. You know, if we're going to have be doing a virtual reinspection with someone, right? And again, we're not here to discuss the merits of that. But if you're going to be doing a virtual reinspection, lighting is critical. And I will tell you, I have found that um, like a PDR type light is really, really good. Uh, you want that lighting to be shining at a 45 degree angle, you know, onto the vehicle, right? Where the damage is at. And then you want to take your photo from like a 45 degree angle. Now, photos, that's a whole nother thing, right? We've got to have really good photo documentation. So one thing is, I know that on um, AMI, Automotive Management Institute, they've got some great photo estimating courses by a variety of people. Another little tip I'll give to you is that um, if you have an Apple store in your local market area, a lot of Apple stores will actually conduct photo clinics on how to take really good photos with a mobile device, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone. Now you may be saying, well, Mike, we don't use iPads or Apple products. Well, guess what? Those Apple stores will do those clinics for you regardless of what type of mobile technology you're using. So I would encourage you to check that out. And I'm sure there's a lot of other resources. I have a, one client of mine that uh, they recently had all of their employees take an online photography class through a local community college. So again, I think strong Wi-Fi is important. I think the ability to take really good quality photos is important. And again, as Danny shared with us in a previous tip here, is that you got to have good line notes. So, you know, Danny, in regards to technology, Wi-Fi, photo quality, any thoughts that you might have? If we choose to go down this path, you know, you definitely want to be prepared for it. And, you know, when you're prepared for things, you know, by having a solid estimate, a repair plan with documentation, and having the technology to support the speeds and the uploads and the downloads, it's really critical, you know, to to uh, make advance to the next step. And the and the, the the more prepared you are for it, the, the quicker it's going to uh, possibly get approved for you, and and make the claim process a little bit uh, easier for the vehicle owner as well. So again, ha being prepared, having the technology in place, highlighting the damage, having the uh, documentation from the manufacturer, the the repair manuals, the paint manufacturers, and having solid estimate uh, line notes. Those will help expedite and get the approvals that you need quicker and faster. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I had somebody once tell me, and this was an insurance person, they said, you know, Mike, and I'm not saying I agree or disagree with this analogy, but I thought it made sense. And he said, you have to think about when you're going through one of these virtual audits or like that or reinspection or discussion, you have to kind of think about it like an IRS audit, right? Like if you're going to go through an IRS audit, you can walk in with all of your stuff in a bag and dump it on their desk or you can have everything organized. And the more organized it is, the better chance you have of getting approval. You know, so again, what are some things we can do? First of all, make sure that when you write your estimates in sequential order, right? And if you're going to insert insert things like, for example, like wealth through primer, up, up, insert it in the section that it applies to, like the quarter panel. The other one is label your photos, right? Now, if you're using a digital camera that time and date stamps it, make sure that's accurate. I see a lot of people that don't do that. So make sure, again, you got your date and time stamp. Another tip that somebody shared with me was that they said that, look, when I label my photos, if let's say, for example, that the line on my estimate is line 42, r &I heat shield. When they label their photo, they label their photo line 42, heat shield, right? So it's easier for somebody to match up. So again, you know, hey, I think in today's world, we got to see these virtual inspections may or may not be here to stay. So how do we adapt to that to at least try to figure out how to use it to our advantage? You know, again, maybe it's something like just a bracket. You're just trying to get a bracket approved. Now, you know, that's really quick, right? Or maybe it's just like an hour repair time on an apron. So again, good line notes, good photo documentation. Um, and also, you know, I say this kind of humorously, but if a photo looks really bad when you look at it, it doesn't magically get better when you upload it. So make sure you got really good photos. Maybe take yeah. multiple photos and, you know, kind of pick the best of the best. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed these quick tips of the day. Good photos, good line notes, and again, 
have all your OEM documentation, paint manufacturer documentation as well, noted on the estimate and attach it as a document. We hope you enjoyed the tip. Make it a great day.